Hello everyone. We're on our way to do more chores. So jump in and come along for the ride. Round and round the tractor we go. The old man chases the monkey. One old tractor just for you. One old van just for you. One newer van just for you. One fuel tank just for me. And hi Kim, hi Tammy. We are almost over to the chicken coop where I will have to set you down while I take care of the birds. Some egg cartons for the eggs. Let me get my little handy dandy stand set up. Hi Aspen, good to see you buddy. Okay, here we go, time to make some noise. Okay, duck, quiet down. Here we go, just a walking down the street, singing do a down the street. Okay. Uh, we're going to need another container. This one's frozen. Let me grab one. All right, gotcha. Just so you guys know what it looks like. There's the top. There's the bottom of the waterer. And uh, I guess I could bend the owl down to let you look at the owl, but you probably don't want to. Okay, come on guys. King Henry, move out of my way, please. Thank you. Okay, move guys, out my way. Let me get you guys fed. I know guys, chicken parts always boring. I will do my very best to make it quick in here today so we can get down by hags to the goat.
right, come on, get out the way. Everybody out the way. Come on, turkey, let's go. I don't remember if any of you saw the ball flock that was in uh, solitary confinement when uh, Bow was in jail locked up, but the ball flock has matured and they're now matured to the point of laying eggs. South rooted outside outdoors. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Guys, it's almost time for the goats. I have one more thing to do. I have to go in and get eggs. Once I get eggs, we can be on our way. Chickens did not produce well today for some reason. Um, I'll show you what we ended up with. Let me pick up my little holder. Come on, out of the holder. Okay. Guinea hen. There's the ugly little. Well, you can see it. The camera's not focusing. There's uh, two of the barred rocks that were uh, part of the bow flock. Um, but this is how eggs look when you don't buy them from the store. They have bloom on them. They have crud on them. And you just leave the crud be. As long as you don't wash the egg, you can leave it out on your counter for eight weeks and they won't rot. If you wash them, then you only have like two weeks of refrigeration. And here comes the cat. This cat is a total pain in the ass. But when you get eggs from the store, <coughs> they're uh, washed and they're washed with a bleach solution. And and that leaks into your eggs, and you're eating that. 
So when you hard boil an egg and you open it up and it smells like a fart, that's actually the bleach inside of the egg that you are smelling. It is not the egg itself. So, for those who want to know, for those who don't want to know, and even for those who don't really care. All right, let me get you set up here. It looks like Hag has came out and fed the goats already. There's pistachio. Let me see what kind of vantage point I can get for you guys here. Um, Let me get that damn wire out of the way. Um, the goats are kind of spread out. Um, I'll hone in on this feeding bunk over here where Melinda's at. All right, now I'll let you guys be for a little bit while I carry on. I have Nuck and Futz's PayPal for the donation pool in the description. Unable to post anything from the phone. But that's where it's at if you guys want to know. Hi, Melinda. Hey, Gizmo. I look at Melinda. Okay, we got a break ice today. Oh, first thing, dump water. a big fat goat and you're not even pregnant. Unbelievable, right? Josh makes a lot of children.
All right, guys, it's gonna take me an extra five minutes today. I have to run back up. For some reason, we've lost power to the barn, so now I have to go fix it. So I'm gonna let you keep staring at the boring ass goats while I do that. See you in a bit.
was an accident. Hello, Linda Linda. Madam Blue, and you're looking for a hat. You're not a child anymore. Gizmo, you little thief. Keep stealing from me. Up and away. All right, now we can move on from the goats. Here we go. Let me load my stuff up here. Get this out of your way. What the hell was that? I don't know. Hey, Melinda. Here's one of Joshua's 
newest of babies. Mr. Stinky, the crazy baby goat. The I'm jealous dog. I think I'm a goat. Melinda the molester sneaks up behind you and molests you. Hi B and O. Hi Jerry. Yes, Joshua is the father. It has been proven by DNA tests. Here at the Jerry Springer show. We tested him. Mr. Stinky, he is not the father. That is Joshua Haynes, son. Way back in there. I don't know if you can even see him. This camera sucks so bad. That won't zoom either. I can barely see him on the screen, so you probably can't. There's some more baby goats. what the hell this thing is I'm touching but I'm touching something okay I'm done touching it it's not doing anything oh yeah I almost forgot we still have to break uh, we still have to break the water Speaking of throats, I need to go get some organic lemons today so I can get rid of this illness once and for all. So I'm going to need to get some organic lemons. I already have local honey. I'm going to need more organic garlic. I have that. No, I need it. I'm out of it. But I do have plenty of turmeric. I have plenty of thieves oil. I have um, all the rest of the stuff. Oh, the cold pressed coconut oil to go in it. I have all that stuff, so. You should give it a go, BNL. Three, three days later, you'll feel fantastic. Uh, it beats amoxicillin, Keflex, NyQuil, uh, more traditional methods of getting rid of sickness. The shit actually works. <laughs> And there's Peanut. Peanut! There we go, the Peanut and the Pistachio. Hey, Pistachio. Melinda, Ghostess and Gizmo. Melinda on the right is the mother. Gizmo and Ghost is both are the daughters of Melinda. And there goes Pistachio. And Peanut is Pistachio's mother. All right, guys, I'm going to give you a chance here. Uh, Take your pick. How's their tent? There, I finished it, it's done. Okay. Shut the lights out. Um, we need corn, and I think that's what we're setting. In the hag, all bundled up. She looks like she's 400 pounds. It's hilarious. She got her. She got her little beanie on. Yeah, yeah. you. And thanks to Lupus. Yeah. Well. <coughs> help me with that. <coughs> yeah. Wait a minute, I got it. Somehow this thing is falling off the hinges. That's man. no big deal compared to what Lupus normally does to I you. Know. 
Okay, I'm going to give the chat room a choice. Number one, we head up and go across the street to the graveyard. Or number two, we take a walk into the back 40 and go down towards the creek and the lodge. So think about it, make your choice. What? Well, I'm giving them a choice. Number one, we go across the street to the graveyard. Number two, we go down to the we go down to the lodge by the creek. Um. So, cast your vote. Once you cast your votes, then I'll start moving my ass in that direction. Turkey. Turkey. You're looking at a turkey, four barred rocks, two Rhode Island Reds, an Australarp, and a guinea hen that just crept up. And those guinea hens are mighty tasty. Those things are awesome. I love eating them. <coughs> okay, I guess the stream is bored. Nobody wants to go anywhere. Nobody wants to go to the graveyard. Nobody wants to go to the lodge. So... I think we're at a standstill. <coughs> it may be time to call this stream over and done with and come back another time. First, I'm gonna walk over to the trees though and see how much chainsaw work I have after this last windstorm. Because some of the trees blew down before, some more trees blew down now. Um, yeah, we got that one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got seven trees down over there. It ain't never ever gonna stop. There's another crazy cat. Run cat, run, run cat, run. How come everyone thinks people who live on farms are crazy cat people? So they just dump their damn cats off here. I really don't like cats. I'm not a cat person. Oh, that was stupid. Wonder how many eggs I just broke. Oh, talk about being lucky. Talk about being lucky. My camera work sucks, but I did not break an egg. As you can see, we have quite an abundance of eggs in here. These are all chicken eggs. <coughs> the quail eggs are in another building. Oh, 
Okay, I guess we'll creep across the street for a minute. We'll creep across the street and visit the dead people. Oh, nice, another tree down. I'll have to cut that one down now too. Have you ever heard of fast growing willow trees? This tree on the side of the garage, and you can see how big it is. I cut this thing down three years ago, and it all started out because Hag took a dead piece of willow and bent it in a U to use it to grow her roses on, which are, you can't see them, but there's some roses there. They're all, their own root roses, so you don't have to do shit to them, they just grow. But this conglomerated mess grew out of it. I cut it all down, and now it's gigantic again. So I gotta take it out before it tears the roof off the building. Look, a car. Kinda strange. Okay, quick peek into the graveyard, and then I'm out of here, guys. <coughs> There's deer. Can you see them? There they go. They're running. One, two. Hmm. They're all kind of early. That means they headed back behind, uh, behind the woods here. See, here we go. Justin S. Meacham and Caroline Langdon Meachin, born July 27, 1816, died in 1889. Justin was born in 1806 and died in 1874. That's one of the better looking stones out here. A lot of these stones are so full of yuck and muck, you can't really even read them. See if we can see who this was. I can't even read it. Wesson. But... There's too much growth on it to see. <coughs> James died February 8th of 1822. Later, Aspen, take care. We've got Keisha, wife of George Turner, February 6th of 1834 to February 15th of 1905. Robert Dubson Jr., infant son, died January 12th of 1924. Probably uh, died from SIDS or something. Here's another one. Harold Dubson, December 28th of 1909, infant son of John and Ida. So it looks like they had two children die of SIDS or for some cause, not really sure. And here's the third one that lived from 1901 to 1902. 
Mildy something. I can't read the rest of it. Okay, so it looks like this child lived from July 3rd of 1901 to January 25th of 1902. So they lost three kids. <laughs> Mother of Shannon Edwards, Todd Edwards, Aaron Edwards, father of Gail, Sandra, and Belinda Patterson. And uh, this is one of those things that has uh, those solar lights that creep me out. But it has a cool little metal rooster here. A heart of gold stopped beating. To willing hands at rest, God broke our hearts to prove us he only takes the best. Okay. And on this side is Henry L. Patterson, also known as Hank, and Leslie A. Leslie A. Stonham, which would be Leslie A. Patterson. They were married August 6th of 1988. Um, she was born in 1958 and died in December 7th of 2015 and it looks like Henry's still alive and he was born in 1938 so Henry must be the name of the man who comes here and sings to her and serenades her at night the Fishers one born in 1877, one born in 1873. One died in 1964, the other one died in 1946. Charles Homer Benzel, Private, U.S. Guards, World War I. Oh, wow, man, this dude was in World War I. June 19th. 1893, died September 7th, 1972. Wow, the things that guy has seen change. And 1898 to 1977 for Joseph L. Fisher. The wife, Hazel Fisher, was 1905 to 2002. Wow, here's some more Fishers. <coughs> Gladys M. Okay, last one, and then we're out of here. Here we have Clayton Vincent Burke with a really cool Harley Davidson cycle top. Um, born September 27th of 1964. Gone August 26, 2014. Let's see what this says. In loving memory, it says. God saw you getting tired. A cure was not to be. So he's put his arms around you and whispered, come with me. With tearful eyes, we watched you and saw you fade away. Although we loved you dearly, we could not make you stay. A golden heart stopped beating, your tender hands at rest. God took you home to prove to us he only takes the best. And uh, goodbyes are not forever. Goodbyes are not the end. They simply mean I'll miss you until one day we meet again. And uh, looks like there's a bunch of change over there. A bunch of sobriety chips. I think that's what these are. I don't know. There's some Harley Davidson chips. <laughs> Um, some crosses, a uh, bottle opener, and then we'll go over here. And uh, this is Kathy J. Burke, born November 5th, 1955, appears to still be alive, but uh, has her spot sitting next year to her husband. Um, what do we have here? We have a little angel. 
that's been knocked down. We'll pick it up. It has a broken wing. I'm not going to mess with it. I will go to the other side, however, and pick up this chip and replace it over here. And both the back sides of this say Burke. So, we actually have some traffic. I'll get the sign real quick. Here's the sign. The Camp Creek Cemetery, established in 1853. Over there, I don't want to go on this guy's property because I don't want to get shot. So I'll go as close as I can. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but to the left of that silo, there's like a weather station and uh, it monitors the weather and it uh, also has a 360 degree IP camera built in so they can watch the wildlife. Because at one time, the corner of this building right here, if you look uh, at the cement towards the bottom of this building here, every year a, a female red fox comes and has a litter under there and she raises her young. And uh, I have pictures of her out here in the road where she'll usually be. But, okay, so much for the neighbors. They're not talkative today, so. I think they want to be just left alone. So we'll do that. We'll leave him alone. Okay, I lost my redneck hillbilly camera holder. Hi, Jamie. Yep. It's not too bad of a day. It's going pretty good. We're just doing a fundraiser for Nuck and Futs. Trying to help her out a little bit. There's another damn feral cat. There's another damn feral cat. Hey, I know what's happening. Fucking beware mouse fucking chipped all his goddamn cats to my house. That's gotta be it. That has to be it. Damn it mouse, you sent me your feral cats. I know you did. I figured it out. Blame mouse. Everybody else does. What the hell? Why not? I mean, he's responsible for world hunger and everything else, right? So we'll blame him on the cats. Fresh eggs. Fresh out of the chicken little egg hole. Oh, look at the beautiful little handicap tag. Too bad it expired at 2018. What did you read at your sister's funeral, Jaded? Fresh eggs? Okay, guys, I still have to do quail. That's the only chore that I still have to accomplish before I can piss around. Um, here's the question. We did the graveyard. Do you guys want me to walk down towards the lodge or leave it for another day? Because uh, it's getting a little cold out here. But... 
Yeah, quail eggs are nutritious. One egg a day gives you all the vitamins, trace minerals you need. And if you eat them raw, they speed up your metabolism, they give you more energy, and they help you burn your fat cells. It's, they're awesome. But for people who can't eat them raw, and I don't know why, because they taste awesome, they're not gross like a damn chicken egg. Trying to eat a chicken egg is like nasty. Even an organic chicken egg is nasty. Um, but a quail egg, I mean, you take the quail scissors, you cut the top off, and you eat it, and it's awesome. One a day, all you need. Yeah, Jamie, I, I, uh, of Caterna, I, uh, I harvest eggs daily. I mean, the price on those eggs is absolutely insanity now. There's a guy. <laughs> <laughs> There's a guy that sells them on Etsy. Uh, that's kind of a cool skull, too. That's a deer skull, though, right? Yeah, that's deer. Okay, I'll set this over there. Um, there's a guy who sells quail eggs on Etsy. You get two dozen. It's $24 and some odd cents. Then he charges another $8.99 for shipping. And... In order to label them for human consumption, you have to either wash them with a bleach water to sterilize the outside and remove the bloom, or you have to use Listerine and water. And everybody uses bleach because it's cheaper. Well, anytime you wash the egg with that, you pollute the egg, it goes into the egg and you're eating it. So. So, the best way if you get quail eggs organically is uh, buy hatching eggs because it's the same damn egg. It just hasn't been washed or cleaned. Yeah, I know, Jaded. All I do is talk. I'm a yakking motherfucker. Uh, I don't know who you're talking about either, so. All right, son. Look at that. There you go, koi dog print. See all the print, one print in one print? Definitely a predator. It's going after deer, there's a deer track. Okay, enough of that. I'll quit fucking around. All right, I'll go towards the lodge, son. But I'm going to take the I'm going to take the shortcut because it's cold as hell out here, and my hands are freezing. Ah, Tammy, are you the victim of another sexual predator? Some girls have all the luck. I might as well show you at least some of the scenery instead of just pointing it at the ground. There's a bunch more crap. There's a downed oak tree. Oh, no big deal, Jamie. I mean, anybody who can, it's awesome. If you can't, you can't. I mean, even if people donate a quarter, 
the message to her basically is the most important of all is that you know she's needed in the community and wanted okay gotta change hands here I don't have a gimbal or any fancy equipment. Here's a mineral lick. This is where all the animals come to get their salt intake and their minerals that they need, diatomaceous earth, all that stuff. I understand that, Jamie. I understand that well. I rarely deal in green money, so I can relate to that 100%. Honestly, I kind of enjoy e-bagging for people that need it. It's uh, it's awesome to see the community come together and support people. I mean, I don't know. For some reason, I like it. I mean, a lot of the people that are getting donations um, in other channels don't even need the donations. They're just getting them. So anytime someone that really needs the donation gets it, it's, uh, I don't know, makes me feel good. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of people that I won't eat bag for just because I know they're making a ton of money on monetization and everything else. So... They don't need the money, and the money they do get, they don't, uh, you know, they don't want anything, uh, they don't want to help the community with any of the money that they get, so I avoid those people. Here's a really nice game trail. One game trail going that way, another going that way. Now we're gonna start coming up to the creek. We're gonna follow this down. You can see this is just a massive, massive deer trail. So that means the raccoons and everything else is traveling the same pathway. As long as we're here, there's a deer stand up there. I think you'll be able to see it. I'm not that far away from it. Okay. There's another deer stand up here. Let me get up a little farther and I'll let you look at that. Deer come in here all the time. There's the other deer stand. And as you can see, <coughs> the trail cuts up, goes up this hill right here, runs all the way up the hill. Here's another part of it. Here's more of the game trail. I'm really amazed I made it this far and I'm not like huffing and puffing about ready to die. Here's where the game trail splits. It runs down here also. For some reason the camera doesn't pick it up as well as my eyes do. But I think you guys get an idea of what you're looking at. You can definitely tell here. They're tracking this hard. Okay, son. Here we are. We're getting towards the canary grass. To the left of us is a shooting range. 
a licensed shooting range. You can go there, go crazy, blast off any type of weapon you have. Well, anything, almost anything. I think if you had an RPG, there might be an issue, but 50 cal or smaller, no problems. Okay, here we go. Here's the creek. We don't have any fishing poles, so we can't go fishing. But here's what the creek looks like. Down around the corner, right around the bend. There's a bunch of oak trees, bunch of crap. And there's the lodge, son. <coughs> so. Yeah, I'd love to have a log cabin too. <coughs> Unfortunately, we don't have one. We have a lodge instead. There's a beaver den. You can see it right here. There'll be a slide over here, I'm sure. Yep, you can see. You can see parts of the trees and that where it's at. There's a slide right there. Now I'm starting to feel like B and O outdoors. Trapping season's over, so. You can see the, the culvert is fucked up. It's starting to collapse. Giant steel cover, culvert that's letting the water through. The idiots that built that definitely didn't have any God-given sense, so. It's another thing to fix. It's gonna flood if I don't come down here and clear this pipe. So I'm gonna have to do that. I should have put some gloves on, I'm an idiot. Or as Freya would say, I'm a dumb dumb. That's what it looks down the creek down that way. See what kind of mess we got here. Oh yeah, broken sticks, bunch of junk. That's gonna be fun to clean up. Oh, look at that. Whole bunch of beautiful shit right here on top. That means the coyotes are active again. But, all right, there's a mess we're gonna have to come clean up. We're getting closer, son, we're getting closer. Are you still here or am I walking for nothing, brother? We're getting closer to the lodge. Closer and closer and closer. Oh. I haven't been down here in quite a while. I'm almost afraid to go in. Oh, it looks like someone smashed the grill. That's never a good thing. I have some raccoon prints over here. The central air still looks okay. Oh, there's a bunch of shit inside. Okay. We might freak out some homeless people, so 
beware. Holy shit, there's crap everywhere. What a fucking mess. <coughs> Damn. TLC, you just walked into what used to be a lodge and it looks like it's been invaded and trashed. So, sink, dishwasher, oven, the refrigerator's in the other room. I don't know if there are homeless people here or not. I guess we're gonna find out. Hopefully no one hits me in the fucking head with something and attacks me because I'm Because that would suck. That's me stepping on a bunch of garbage. Holy fuck. Okay. There's a propane cylinder with a heater on it. Shit. I'm curious. TLC, I'm in a little town called White Heath. W-H-I-T-E-H-E-A-T-H. -H -E -E That's where I'm at. Um, okay, it seems like they're out of propane. Yeah, they kind of moved in, it looks like. I don't really mind if they clean the fucking place up, man. I mean, this is fucking nasty. There's no fucking... No reason for this garbage and shit all over the place. Hey, look, I found a light that works. They must be using this as a nightlight. I'll be a nice guy and I won't steal it. They have a beautiful view out of this room. You can see all the wildlife out the back there. Okay, let's go see what else they fucking did. This is kind of depressing. I mean, look at that. It's just fucking garbage everywhere. Fucking bags of fucking garbage. Okay, all the bathroom doors are shut. I can't see anything in here because it's too dark. I don't have a flashlight. But, this looks pretty normal. So, we'll get out of here. Let's see if they stole any shit. It's really strange because nothing appears to be taken or stolen. It's just bags of garbage all over the place on the floor. I don't really get it. It's like, why would you want to fuck a place up that you're staying, you know? 
This looks like a lighter for a crackhead. Some kind of crackhead lighter maybe, I don't know. Here's a billiard table. They weren't playing pool. They have ice trays on it. Pool cues are still here. It uh, doesn't appear like they've taken anything. It's really strange. This is really strange to me. There's the refrigerator. Uh, that's where I was just at, the garage. Now we'll go upstairs. There's no power down here. I had the power turned off months ago because we weren't coming down here and there wasn't any reason to have it, so. Um, looks like uh, they may have been working out. Oh, there's been a goddamn raccoon in here. I see raccoon prints all over the place here. I don't know how the fuck he got in here, but those are definitely raccoon prints. All right, I guess I should learn to shut up before I blame people for things, so. Homeless people definitely didn't tear up the garbage. The damn raccoons did. But I don't get how a raccoon got in here. The windows aren't broke. There's really no way in here. What the hell? Okay. So, out of this room, and upstairs we go. One more room. <coughs> yeah, there's raccoon stuff everywhere. There's a beer bottle from somebody. What were they drinking? Line and Google's Big Butt Doppelbuck. Bavarian style beer. That's nasty beer. Okay, there's the generator down there for uh, backup power. We used to run on a generator a lot before we had power brought down to the building. You can see the back of the property line out that way. Yep. Bunch of damn beer bottles. Looks like raccoons have been in it. I don't drink, so I don't know who the hell's been drinking. I really don't know. Some chairs, nothing special, the air conditioner. Goddamn raccoon prints again all over there. Okay. Let's dip out of here, I guess. Oh, that's kind of weird looking. There's something weird out in the trees there. I wonder if I should go check that out. No, I'm not strapped. I think I'll leave it alone. <coughs> All right, out we go. There's the top of the power line. That gives you an idea how high up we are right now. It's got a complete walk around. So you can walk around. You can either sit out here and hang out. Oh man, the raccoons have been here like crazy. There's raccoon shit everywhere. All right, I gotta come back and trap this little bastard. He's gotta go. This is just ridiculous. He's causing too much havoc. You can see the creek all the way around. If we come here 
about a half hour before sunset in that tree right there there will be a giant owl that will come and talk to us oh look at that game trail that's where that damn raccoon's coming from look at how big a game trail he's made yeah jaded this is uh this is all on the property Yeah, owls are awesome. I actually caught an owl. He uh, flew in and he killed my duck and he couldn't get out because his wingspan was too big for the place he landed. So I had to get a pair of welding gloves and take him out and turn him loose. And since he killed the duck already, I let him eat it. I didn't punish him for killing my duck. I'm trying to read the chat. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Now I touch some more shit I shouldn't have touched. What is wrong with me? I think I'm an idiot. All right, I think I got it back. I think we're good now. All right, Tommy, you should be blue. What the hell's going on? I turned you blue earlier, and then it said I deleted your message, but it said you're a moderator. And now I see you post, and you're not a mod. I don't know, shit's just going, shit's fucked up for me, I guess. I don't know what the hell that is out there. There's two spots out there that are not normal. I don't know if you guys can see them or not. They're a totally different gray from the surroundings. A metal detector? Um, yeah, I think there's a few metal detectors here, TLC. Do I use a metal detector or have I used a metal detector? No. I have not. No, they actually look like two animals. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Might be groundhogs, I'm not sure. Okay, I guess it's time to get out of here. But now I know where they're coming from. That's a perfect game trail that they're coming in right there. Oh, deer decoy. Deer decoy down, deer decoy down. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna try to get out of here without killing myself. Now that I know that there's no homeless people in here gonna beat me in the head. I mean, honestly, it wouldn't bother me if they were hanging out here and living here as long as they didn't make a huge mess for me to clean up. Man, now I know what I'm doing, man. I can't keep my damn pants up. Oh, look, I even got a trap here. Awesome. Oh, I have a trap. Got a 220 kind of bear. I can whack that. <coughs> I can whack that raccoon. Looks like I have another trail leading here underneath this thing where they're creeping around. Look at that trail. Guaranteed that's where that raccoon's coming from. 
hell. We're here now. Yeah, I know, it's out of season, but can't have them ruining my shit. It just don't work. Let me find a point. <coughs> Here's a good choke point right here. Let me set you down for a minute so I can get this taken care of. Uh, it's really stupid. You're a farmer. You don't carry a knife with you. It's like, how dumb can you be? <sighs> All I need is a couple guide sticks, really. That's good. We're set. That should take care of him shitting and pissing all over the place and tearing up the garbage. All right, I don't see him. I don't see him getting in anywhere in the garage. Okay, the bug sprayer. Couple cans of paint. There's the oil fill heater right there. No, everything looks good in here. Hmm. Strange. Very strange. Okay, I guess we can close this up and be on our way. <coughs> Here's another game trail they could be coming from, too. I'm gonna have to come down with a couple more traps clean this place out before it becomes raccoon hell. I don't know how the hell they're getting in. I mean, the size of the shit they took, they're not little. They're probably 20, 25 pound animals. You gotta have a little bit of space to get in. They can't shrink down as little as a rat. Oh, if my hands weren't so cold, I'd take you back the long way and you could see the rest of the property, but my hands are freezing. I'm dropping shit all over the place. <coughs> 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 
it's going to be the death of me yet. I don't know if you can see the ripples in the water, but the current's running pretty good right there. other side of the property up towards the road way far down there used to be a there back in the 1800s and uh, I would imagine there's a you could find a lot of crazy stuff there there's a lot of deer print here a whole lot wow These are pretty fresh too. If I would have thought about it, I should have just fired up the tractor and drove down here. But I guess it's better for me to walk. more exercise that I don't really need, but should probably have. Yeah, I can't, uh, I can't use any tuna. If I use any type of bait, I won't get, uh, I'll end up with feral cats in my traps all day long. Best bait for raccoons. The best bait you can use without catching cats or any other non-target animal is a Twinkie. They can't resist Twinkies. I have no reason why. Doesn't really make any sense, but when I have to take them away from other people's property, they're in their garage, their attic, whatever, I'll throw a Twinkie in a live trap and uh, it'll grab them every single time. Okay, that leads to the cavern. We don't want to go that way. Okay. Yeah. All right, there we go. Look at that. There's a rub. That was from this year. They've dropped their antlers by now, so. I should actually be out in the woods looking for sheds. Hag likes to make beads and things out of them. I've made a couple deer antler pipes. Those are kind of cool too. Knife handles. Bunch of uses for free antlers. This is a way steeper incline than it looks. It's just a hill. 
because it's Illinois. But damn, it feels like a mountain. Okay. We're back at the top. And you can see the barn. And all and can't really see the sun through the camera. That is weird. All right, guys, it's, uh, I'm almost back. I still have to go in the building and do quail. I don't, uh, I don't have any signal in there, so I won't be able to continue the stream. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the stream now. Thanks to everyone who came and enjoyed the boredom with me. I'll catch you people later tonight. Maybe I'll have something a little more interesting. Talk to y'all later. Take care. Bye.